she's got no clue. Well, she has she no clue. Because yeah. it's a weekend, obviously, yeah. I'm just the after hours lady. I don't have any information to give you. So, basically, I think she looked it up and on her system it said it operates from 9 till 5. That's all the information she had. It's after 5 o'clock. The, the gate is still open. Yep. And here we are, you know. Don't risk it. I'm not going to bring Cook Homestead. No, it's fair enough. I, that's understandable. But there is a sensor there, and I think once you hit that sensor, it triggers the gate will open up from the inside. And the spikes are facing the other way to stop them from coming in, not, not exiting. Do you want to drive in? So I think we're we'll fine. No, but I just don't want to take <laughs> I just don't want to use my car. No, so we continue to walk. Yeah. So we'll just walk, you know, stand by me style. Yeah. Walking down this dirt road. to another episode of Oz Seekers. Ricky here, Michael and Turk behind the camera. So today we're at um, the homestead here in Point Cook. Um, obviously we do have the homestead right behind us. As you can see, we will take a walk around it. We do have the actual, um, obviously the shed that's over here, which is made out of bluestone. Uh, there's a water tank down there. Um, while we still got a bit of light though, guys, we will take a bit of a tour in daylight and yeah, just follow me and Michael and Turk and we'll go for it, eh? We're gonna look around. We weren't actually sure if the homestead was open or not. We, we came here thinking it was open because of the op operating hours. It looked like it was open. So we're here now, sun's fading. Hopefully we're not doing anything wrong. I don't think we are. No. We're just gonna explore. We're gonna explore and we'll see how we go. That's it, right. jump on board. Oh, and we saw a big rat, this big, so keep your eyes peeled. So, we are at the Point Cook Homestead. That's its official name. Dated back to around 18, well that says 1857 up there, so late 1800s, so in the 19th century, this was... Uh, built and owned by the Churnsides, that's what we know. That's correct. And we've spoken about the Churnsides before at Werribee Mansion, so we've uh, got some history with those guys. But here we are. So we're going to explore, we're going to walk around. If we can get in somewhere, we're going to do it. Right? Yeah. So at the moment, we're just kind of looking around the outside, but we'll see if we can get in somewhere. Okay, Doc. That's a nice car. Yeah, have a look in here too. So, see. No. Still on time. Got a fireplace. That looks like a light switch. <laughs> yeah. I'd say that was installed uh, there. Yeah. How's that? That's a freaking rooster. A little rooster, yeah. And uh, there's a clock on the wall. Oh, what time is it saying? Oh, look at that. The small hands on the nine, okay. and the big hands half past nine. Turkey, you gonna have a look? 
show the viewers. So the rooms are pretty empty at this stage, I believe. Nothing going on in there. Can you see through there? Yeah. I did see the flashlight coming from the out of it. Right there. Yeah. This is the back end of the um, homestead, which is the backyard. That's a bedroom, I think. Is it? Can't see nothing. Mm. Oh, a cellar. <laughs> Michael, any chance of going down here or what? Down to the cellar? Well, it's closed off. You can't get in there. That's the thing. It's got bars across it. Yeah. Am I reading? No, nothing at all. Look at this building here. Oh, you can actually get your camera in here. This, there was a screen in here. And it seems to... <laughs> <laughs> No, you can stick the camera right in there and uh... What the hell is it? You're right in there. So what would... Oh, meat house. Right, so this is where they stored the meat. Meat house? Lock, tomahawk and brother's knife. Fuck, what's on top of there? Why these birds? It <laughs> 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 flew right at your head. It <laughs> flew right at your head. Did you see it come out? There was birds in there. Came right at his head. <laughs> The grapes. Go down. Yeah. Well, what have it been? I reckon it's where they just cold storage, probably. Cold storage. Maybe. Cold. Oh, it sits on here. What does it say? Oh, I just touched the wall. Trust. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh, that's what you want to see. Rabbit is hot. An old abandoned rocking chair just sitting there on its own. Get out of here. No way. EMF? Oh, yeah. yeah, we've got a hit. Oh, it's coming. Where that okay. chair is. Put it in. It's where oh, that chair wow. is. No way. Put the torch on the chair. Put the torch on the chair. On the chair. It's gone up. Look at the size of this moth. That's huge. <laughs> Rabbit is hot. Right. All right, well, so we're not done exploring yet because there's a few more structures on the site. So while we've still got some light, I'm thinking we can come over here and explore this thing. I don't know what this is. I think it's probably the horse stables. Yeah. Farmhouse. Possibly. Now these bricks that you see, these are called bluestone bricks, which is a very common building 
material that they used back in the day. And actually, if you drive around the CBD, there's a lot of buildings um, still with the blue stone. Still with that blue stone foundation, yeah. <coughs> Who keeps going around smashing all the windows? Peeping Tom. Oh yeah, it's horse stables here. Yeah. yeah, that's the name of the horses. So you got yeah. a horse named Peeping Tom. What's the other one? New Minister. New Minister. I wonder if these were race horses. Maybe. Race horses probably. It's just a stable. This looks more recently built, so I don't know if it's part of the original homestead. I doubt it, yeah, but we'll explore anyway. It's boarded up as well. All the windows are boarded up. Pretty much left abandoned. Yeah. Like a, it's a bar. It's like an old, old style saloon in there. <laughs> Have a look. Jeez, I've never seen that before. Get off my property! No, it's not gonna. Can't see anything. Check it out. Here. Old school, yeah. Come for a ride. Give you a lift. <laughs> Alright, well that's the homestead adventure. We are losing the last bit of daylight here. So as that sun fades in the horizon, I think we'll head back we've got a bit of a walk down that dirt trail back to our cars to get out of here so um it's been interesting it has it has look the weather was fantastic during the day today and yeah no it's just getting too dark to um see what we're doing out here so from the Seekers, i'd like to say thank you very much from ricky michael and turk um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and yeah like our videos as well you know we're all up for the comments and stuff that you would post towards us and we'll reply back to you with that as well so once again hit the notification bell as well <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's it from us and yeah we'll head back down the <laughs> track see you Yeah, you're still holding that AMF. Yeah, just so in case I just pick something up. You never know. It's pretty quiet out here. Watch out for the bike. Watch out for the rat.
<clears throat> What's happening? So here we are, still walking. <laughs> <laughs> We're not and, there yet. And that gate that I said will stay open won't close. A bomb. <laughs> it's now closed. Uh, but we can maybe test my uh, sensor theory and if we can stand in front of it, trigger it, light open. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Possibly, but I'm pretty sure you can walk around it, right? Um, I didn't check that when we walked in. Well, looks like we're locked in. We're staying at the homestead overnight. Watch out, those spikes don't shoot up in your foot <laughs> as you're stepping over. <laughs> Good effort, fully. So there you go. Bye bye, Homestead. Bye bye, Homestead. Adios. <laughs>